I'm Oliver Fox. I'm a final year computer science master's student at Newcastle University, moving on to a PhD in September. This is my music and mind story. So last year I created a game called Album Duel using some codes and I put it on a website and it was based on the Wordle craze and is essentially an album guessing game where you have to guess an album cover and it reveals it bit by bit and um, it actually proved super popular. My next project I want to work on is an app called Encore. It is a social media app that is for gig goers and music lovers that brings together the letterboxed review platform and the one-off photo feature of B-Real. Something that really annoys me about going to concerts is, especially with big artists, is just the sea of phones you get that block your view of the performer. And this was that kind of idea to bring back a bit more community to the music space that I found at Open Mic and, and loved so much. And by encouraging people just to take one photo, I think it can, and connecting through comments and reviewing each other's artists that people love, um, I think could really be a good idea and uh, make big waves. I think the first time I really got excited about music was when I had my first iPods. And I just remember going and ripping songs off YouTube every time I wanted to listen to a new song. Be like, go on my old laptop, wait. 10 minutes for it to turn on, wait for iTunes to load, get the song, copy it across. It, pro it probably would have been some silly parodies on YouTube. Epic rap battles of history. I'd we'll probably put some of those on there. I definitely think when I was kind of in year seven, eight, and nine, I was listening to what I wanted to listen to, which happened to be at the time a lot of electronic music, video game, kind of instrumental songs. But as I went through school and started to gain more of a friendship group and started getting closer with people, it kind of became more apparent to me that I needed to kind of listen to what, what was kind of more popular with my friends. When I was younger, obviously, my brother brought me up on rock music such as Ozzy Osbourne and Adams. ACDC and because no one in school really listened to that stuff and it wasn't really cool um, it was nice to be able to realise that when I started listening to that music again that I really did enjoy it. I always have this instant reaction to a song that I like. I'll chuck it on a playlist and listen to it to death until I get sick of it. When I was going through college I was definitely going through some hard times and just stuff that I was dealing with in my personal life. But I was friends with a band called Electric Milk that said that they were going to be playing at an open mic evening in a local pub where I was living at home. And I thought, you know, why not? I'd never been to kind of a local band or kind of been to a, a gig at a local pub. <laughs> The only two gigs I've been to previously to that were the concert I went to at Wembley with my mum and then also a Childish Gambino concert with one of my friends a bit earlier than that during college. So I went along and it was really interesting to see how I connected with that music. It was great that the community that were there were so welcoming. I'm not a musician by trade, but I would say that I'm someone that's heavily in love with music and it was just nice to have that ritual every week. So as I got kind of closer with Electric Milk, I kind of just went around and, and followed them to all the concerts that they went to. Um, I started taking photographs and taking videos so that they could promote themselves. And then once they released their first single, I actually made their artwork for them, which was at the time not, not, not kind of a big deal, but Looking back, it was actually something that I was immensely proud of. I saw New Order a couple of years ago live, and they were just incredible and one of the best concerts I've ever been to. And kind of really fell in love with the synth that they played and how it sounded. I kind of wanted to give it a go myself. So I got FL Studio on my computer and kind of plugged in this MIDI keyboard and just started messing around. And it surprised me how connected I felt with the sound when I was making it. 
AI is becoming more prominent in the media at the moment, with ChatGPT kind of running rounds on whether people should be using it for homework and in schools and stuff like that. And it's become quite a big issue in universities as well. But obviously that's kind of given light to people making other branches of AI. There are apps like Midjourney and Dooley that give you the ability to kind of generate art from certain prompts. People say that using AI to kind of create artwork and stuff is stealing from people and you're just taking credit from people that should be doing the actual art. If you can use AI to inspire you to create other art and if you can use it to better whatever you're making, it can really empower the art that you're creating. And I think we should be using it as more of a tool for creativity rather than thinking of it as some massive hindrance. My music taste was definitely also influenced by Guitar Hero from a young age. Um, I used to absolutely adore that game. Are you gonna be my girl? By Jim. It's Free Bird by Leonard Skinner. Thank you for watching my Guitar Hero World Tour and other. It was one of the first games I got on my PS3 back in the day and every time I listened to a song that was on that game I can't not think of it. Music will always hold a special place with me and the fact that me and my partner kind of bonded over music was something that just made me so happy to be able to finally kind of feel connected with someone through music because I never really felt like that with someone before and so being able to just listen to any and all music with her definitely makes me feel very happy. So I definitely say that that's, that's where it holds a, spe a special place. M music's gotten me through so many difficult and great times in my life. Um, thinking back on kind of memories from being young kids and just being kind of growing up as through being an adult. Um, there are always times where I can think back to certain songs and kind of connect them with certain memories. If I listen to a song from, you know, five or six years ago, more often than not, I can kind of remember where I was when I either first listened to it or when I was listening to it a lot. And I think being able to just build those connections in your mind through music is why it's just so important. I, one, of, one of my favorite things to do is when I've not seen someone for a while and either I go and visit them or they visit me and we eventually are just kind of listening to music. We can exchange what we've been listening to over those months or years that we've not been together. And it is just, a, it's always a great experience to have that with friends and family. My degree hasn't necessarily taught me how to make music or how to make artwork or anything like that, but it has taught me how to be more proficient with technology and 
how to adapt to using different software and different technologies in order to create something that I want. Being able to go out and research exactly what I need in order to complete a task is something that I definitely learned throughout my last four years of university. And it's taught me to be more competent and patient with what I want to create. Um, if you'd asked me to create something like seven years ago, uh, back when I was in school or college, I probably would have been frustrated after about an hour and probably not, not look back. But through doing a lot of team projects and coding projects and personal projects throughout university life, it's taught me to really just be patient and try and understand exactly what I'm doing in order to kind of take the right steps to make something. And so if I even compare my artwork that I've made um, from when I first started doing it to now, I can tell that I take a lot more care in what I'm making because I'm a better programmer and it does transfer into other skills that come up when I'm using my computer or any kind of technology.